Hello everyone. In this video, we shall see how to do accounting of intercompany transaction, which is mainly related to transfer of funds by one entity to another. In the old mechanism, what used to happen? Let's say an entity IELB Lebanon transfers 200k USD to Ekistruck Hong Kong. So the in the old mechanism, the accountant of entity IELB would make an entry. He will select the vendor code, okay, and credit the cash and bank account, okay, and same on receipt of the fund. The accountant of Ekistruck Hong Kong will debit his bank account where the funds are received and credit the vendor code of IELB in his books of accounts. Okay, and as you know, these vendor codes are linked to the GLs based on the vendor group selections. Okay. Okay, so that's how the transaction were happening in the old mechanism. Okay, so in the new mechanism or the new method of accounting an intercompany transaction, what will happen? The entity the entry will be done only by the entity which makes the payment. Okay, so here both the accountants were making the entry in their respective books. Okay, so that's why if you see there might be a question of reconciliation if the entry is posted in the books of accounts of IELB but not accounted in the books of Ekistra Hong Kong. So in that case there might be some unreconciled item that may occur if the entry is not done at both the ends. So to eliminate this me mechanism and to explore the, the facilities and the new methods of intercompany so that this entry would be done by the entity ILB and they will do the en entry as cash and bank credit of ILB and they will only they will also debit cash and bank of Ekistruck Hong Kong okay so you might be assuming how they will do the how they will select the cash and bank of Ekistruck Hong Kong so the entire transaction the new mechanism will see on the on the system how it is being done okay so let me go through a transaction that i have already prepared so if i will go to the general journal and i will select the intercompany voucher you can see ic voucher and if i select the ic voucher i will select the bank so i mentioned over here the bank account of ielb is credited so i'll select the bank account from which the IELB have transferred the fund to Extra Hong Kong, the description 200k, and here in the offset company, I will select Extra Hong Kong because I'm transferring the funds to the Extra Hong Kong company, and I'll select the bank type and I will select the bank account to which the funds have been transferred. So, this bank account is for Extra Hong Kong and select the currency in which the transaction is actually being done. Okay, so this is how the intercompany transaction would be done. For the dimension side, if you see, for the main account, it will be IELB because it is accounted in the books of Einjing Lebanon. And the second effect we are giving in the books of Ekistra Hong Kong. So their so the entity is, country code is HK. Okay, so this is how the transaction will be done and posted in the system. So now to see the effect of this transaction, I have extracted the TB. So in the books of IELB, actually the entry would happen as the GL which is link account debit and cash and bank credit. Okay, so if you can see, so 45121 account debited. So I've just taken a hypothetical vendor uh, GL code. So this account debit and cash and bank account credit. All right. And if you go and see in the book of Ekistruck Hong Kong, you can see the intercompany transaction is credited and the bank account is debited. 
okay that is how the transaction is done so now if, if the ielb does the transaction with many entities and the gl remain the same so there might be a confusion that a lot of transaction would be parked under one gl and we might not get the split under for which entity what are the transactions so to eliminate this issue what we have done we have done a bit of customization so when the transaction is done so in the books of ilb the transaction was done for ekistock hong kong so here in on the offset company side you can see it is ekistock hong kong and the similar if you see in the book of ekistock hong kong you will find the transaction this has been come from i engineering lebanon okay so that is how the intercompany transaction would be done so you guys also be wondering since we did not select any gl it was bank to bank transfer the gl is the gl is not selected so let me tell you for all the entities of the company whatever the relationships we have already identified and we have assigned a gl on the back side when whenever the ent the entity is done done does the intercompany transaction based on their nature whether it is a holding subsidiary or the related party the gl would be automatically selected and the effect will be done. okay so th this is how we are going to do the payment or the transfer of fund from one entity to another and the right to do an entry is with the books of women's the person who is making the payment will will do the en entry in their books of account and accordingly the the second effect in the books of ekstra compound would also be taken into consideration okay thank you